so uh, good afternoon students so in the previous lecture we have completed the whole process of uh, digestion and different components of food and uh, one among the components of food is vitamins uh, just like carbohydrates fats proteins and vitamins so what is this vitamins vitamins are basically organic compounds but they are required uh, in very small quantity as compared to the other uh, food components like carbohydrates fats and proteins and they are required for the maintenance of optimum growth and health of the body they do not require any digestion in our body so as far as this classification is concerned, uh, the vitamins has been divided into two main classes. First is fats on the basis of their solubility, whether they are soluble in fats or in water. If they are soluble in fats, we call them as fat soluble and if they are soluble in water, we call them as water soluble vitamins. So vitamins for, uh, uh, that come under the fat soluble category are vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K. Vitamin A is chemically called retinol, vitamin D is calciferol, vitamin E tocopherol, vitamin K phylo. So, uh, if there occurs the deficiency of any of the any of these uh, vitamins, some uh, deficiency diseases develop in our body. Just like if there is a deficiency of vitamin A in our body, uh, it mainly affects our eyes because eyes are very important for uh, the sense of sight. So, there occurs the night blindness. We are not able to see uh, properly during uh, night uh, and xerophthalmia. Uh, xerophthalmia there occurs the bulging of uh, eyes uh, vitamin D it affects mostly the bones just like it, uh, it causes rickettus in children and osteomalacia in uh, adults vitamin E tocopherol is a sterility ho jati hai uh, sterility means uh, uh, a female is not able to conceive and uh, fertility in males last because of the deficiency of this um, vitamin E and there occurs different defects in the central nervous system nervous system ko bahut affect karta hai a or a vitamin vitamin K phylloconin which is very important for important vitamin for uh, blood clotting. Blood clotting is a pro, uh, uh, it's uh, called the nature's device to prevent excess loss of blood. When there is blood clotting, so that prevents the excess loss of blood from the injuries. So if there is deficiency of vitamin K, the blood may uh, be lost from the injury excessively. So we can blood loss ho sakta hai, to insan, uh, suddenly mar sakta hai. So, uh, as far as the vitamins uh, that come under the water soluble are concerned, there are different types of vitamins. First is the B complex and last is the vitamin C. B complex is the B1 aata hai, jisko chemically thymine. Kehte hai. Vitamin B2 is riboflavin, kehte hai. B3 niacin, B5 pentonic acid, B6 pyridoxine, B7 biotin, B9 folic acid, B12 cyanocobalamin, vitamin C ascorbic acid. So, if there is a deficiency, ho jati hai, different diseases develop in our body. Jaise, अगर विटामिन बी की बी1 की डेफिशिएंसी बेरी बेरी हो जाती है एक इंसान में जैसे कि उसमें लॉस ऑफ एपिटाइट होता है डिक्रीज इन वेट होता है रिटार्डेड ग्रोथ हो जाता है डिजेनरेशन ऑफ नर्व्स मसल एट्रोपी इंपेयर्ड एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन कार्बोहाइड्रेट मेटाबॉलिज्म हार्ट फेलियर ओडिमा ये सारे बेरी बेरी के रिलेटेड हैं तो अगर ये हो जाता है विटामिन बी2 की डेफिशिएंसी हो जाता है राइबोफ्लेविन की से चिलोसिस होता है चिलोसिस मींस जो इन्फ्लेमेशन एंड क्रेकिंग एट माउथ माउथ के में जो कार्नल्स होते हैं वहां पर इन्फ्लेमेशन हो वो फट जाते हैं जैसे होंट विटामिन बी7 से हो जाता है प्लेग्रा जिसको कहते हैं जैसे कि स्किन इरप्शंस हो जाते हैं स्वॉलन लिप्स डाइजेस्टिव डिसऑर्डर्स इरिटेबिलिटी हो जाती है वैसे ठीक है तो उसके बाद जो इंपॉर्टेंट है वो बताता हूं फॉलिक एसिड इससे एनीमिया ब्लड की कमी हो जाती है बिकॉज़ दीस टू विटामिंस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ब्लड साइनोकोबैलामिन इससे भी ब्लड में ब्लड के बनने में बहुत मदद मिलता है एंड लास्ट वन इज विटामिन सी जिसको हम एस्कॉर्बिक एसिड जो एसिडिक है जिसकी अगर डेफिशिएंसी हो जाती है तो ब्लीडिंग का गम्स हो जाता है खून आ जाता है दांतों से गम से उसको हम कहते हैं स्कैरमी सो दीस आर द डिफरेंट विटामिंस एंड देयर डेफिशिएंसी डिजीजेस ठीक है तो इसके साथ ही हमारा डाइजेशन का चैप्टर कंप्लीट हो जाता है थैंक यू